Spike is really sleeping in. I'm starting to think that maybe we should have joined him. Uh, no, no. Oh, maybe we should wake him up. Yeah, maybe we should, because uh -huh. I think we should give him his decongestant. Maybe we should let him sleep. Give it to him later. He needs the rest. Yeah, I know, I know. How about, uh... How about later? I, um, mm. I, I really just want to do what's best for him to, to, to do everything right to, to give him the, the chance to get his hearing back. You are doing everything right. We both know that's not true. Can you stop beating yourself up, please? Um, it's not me that I've been beating up on lately. Ask Greenlee. What does that mean? Mm. Well, after we found out the news about Spike, I didn't go to the office like I told you. Where did you go? I had Greenlee meet me at our old condo. I wanted to torture her. I wanted for her to suffer for what she did to our boys. How did that work? Not at all. It was like the minute Joe said that Spike might not be able to get the implants. I thought of Greenlee. None of this would have happened if it weren't for her. And I wanted her to know that, and I wanted for her to, to, to feel it every waking second. I wanted it to crush her. And I understand that. But obsessing with Greenlee's not gonna help our boy's situation, you know that. Yeah, I can't help it, Zach. I mean, Greenlee made our little boy deaf. She got away with it. <clears throat> what do you say we don't waste any more time on Greenlee and we focus on getting that little boy better so he can get his implant and he can hear? I am focused on that. But I can't just let Greenlee get away with what she's done. If what I did to her at the condo doesn't get to her, then I don't know what will. What did you do to her? I... I put Spike's battered car seat in front of her. I made her relive the entire crash. Every cry, every scream, every drop of my baby's blood. All of it. If you made Greenery live Spike's car accident, that means you had to suffer through it too. I'm okay. I can stop thinking of Greenlee for more than two seconds, anyway. You gotta be patient. I know being around her every day is not easy. No, I feel like I can't escape her, Zach. Even when I look at Spike, I think of Greenlee. Won't be that way forever. You keep saying that. Because it's true. No, you're saying it like you know something. Like there's something that you're not telling me. You're just gonna have to trust me on that one. I do trust you. You've been hinting at something for a while now, and I want to know what it is. What are you up to, Zach? Quit talking in circles, Zach. Come on, Tommy, I mean, do you know something about Greenlee? Is she leaving town, or...? What do you think? You think she's gonna run her plans by me? Probably not. Well, then what makes you so sure that, that life will be easier now? I don't know. Just, I think she's, uh, she's addicted to attention. She wants to be the center of everybody's universe. And with us, that's no longer the case. So I'm backing on the fact that she's gonna... Latch onto somebody else. That's all you're banking on? Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's not enough. I mean, think about this. This is all so wrong, Zach. She made a little boy deaf, and she got away with it. And look at her now. She's, she's, she's co-running Fusion with me. She's got a new boyfriend. Even Ryan and Annie have somehow warmed up to her, and I have no Sir, idea how, but they have. Look at me. What do you want? What would make you happy? I want for Greenlee to feel exactly the way I do right now for the rest of her life. How do you feel right now? Empty. Sad. Miserable. Angry. Helpless. I don't... I mean, when I... When I look at Spike 
and I think of the fact that he may never hear another sound again. I want her to pay, Zach. I, I want to rip away her dreams the same way that she ripped mine away. I hate her. I hate her so much, and I want for her to feel that. I gave him his decongestant and his antihistamine, and he was just, he took it like a champ. Yeah, he is a champ. Yeah. Mm, so is his mom. She knows better than to get involved with vengeance and payback with Squeenly. Yeah. I'm sorry about how I was acting. I'm just, well, you know how I get. I was just being moody. It's all right. Best way to deal with her is to just try to keep your distance. And the best revenge is for us to be happy again. You're right. No, I'm right. Mm. Oh, you want to give him kisses? Mm. Oh, that was good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Come That's on, let's see. Let's see. All right, let's say bye to Daddy. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, I have to fib to your daddy, honey. But you know what? You know what? Being happy is not enough. I have to get justice for what she did to you. And I'm gonna do just that. Mama. Yeah, you know it. You know it. <laughs>